so today we're going to be replacing my upstairs carrier. Hold up, I'm deleting videos right now so I have enough space. Let's go get the new unit. And let's go to the supply house now. <laughs> yeah, that came from a bunch of trim I had in here one day. I put it all in here. I was poking it out. Now we're at Johnstone Supply. You probably don't like all this stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. Really? Mm -hmm. It's cool in here. There's a little refrigeration for powder. That's a Fujitsu Duffus unit. It's a heat pump. We're in there. Back. There's a little one here. It's also a uh, 9,000 BTU. Yeah, I could put one. I could put one for the tree house. That'd be nice. This is where it opens in the air. Yeah. It can't open itself. I know. Uh, you see this over here? They have a bunch of uh, eight. <laughs> they make the fans black so you can't really see them. This is at the blue corner. There's a board, fan, fan, defrost. No. <laughs> Basically everything from the There's capacitors. So this is the same kind of capacitor I got in my downstairs unit, Titan Pro. Look at all of them. Got them, then you got pack hard on top. This sure is not leaking in the bottom. Man, that is a pile of good news. You can't go too far, it'll take the door out. Whoa. Okay. Her out. Good, man. Fits perfectly. I know. Fits right in there. Perfect. You can fit that on the side. That's a nice pad. Get all of those furniture. And that is a pile of good news. All of these good news. Most of them are 14s here. <laughs> maybe they have another area for the other ones, maybe. So many good news back here. Holy crap. And over here, for some reason, is a micro channel. And we already know why that gets replaced. Leaking. You can already see oil stains. We'll get to those. This is a package unit right here. Look at all The Jitsu. I'm guessing they, I guess they have Douglas units too. To you. And Goodman's right here. Two Goodman's. Not strapped, but. Messed up ones. This one has a rotary. Mm. 
Hold up. These are the multi pans. Yeah. Then we got panels. Some uh, cases. And then uh, some really destroyed units here. And that one is a heat pump. And that is a Coca Cola. This one's probably this is what mine's probably gonna look like. Yeah. And I got a bigger, a really big one here. Hmm. And they have some uh, right out of the factory uh, stuff there. Wow. What's in there? Lots of junk. <laughs> Holy crap. Just don't drop the phone in there and you're not getting my back. Y yeah, no. I've already four old, deformed, messed up good ones. Oops. And right here is a scrap unit. Coleman. Got a uh, little scrap unit right here. This is a Nordine. There's a new it was unit. A bit taller. No, I thought it was about to be that. And right over here is some more of the stuff. The coil, whip, thermostat, pad. Alright, so we're working on the unit now. Wait, this little bug. Go turn the breaker off. Huh? Yeah. Go ahead, Are you plug. going in the attic? Yeah, you gotta work on the car. He's taking you up there. Make sure we ain't got no power. Start on wiring it. Yeah. Open them up. Adjust your channel locks, man. Open them up. It's not strong. Oh, there's. But he's in the other end. We got two oh, is that for when you did Halloween? Saving the old stuff. Here, ratchet this down. Where is this? Oh, this doesn't go anymore. Look yeah. for another small one put on top. Small one. Closing? Yeah, it's ripped out. I'll get it, dude. Stop. Huh? What are you doing, man? How many years has it been since? This thing was put in in 2001, December 2001. Yeah, but how many, how long has it been since you wanted to get new air conditioning? A few years, maybe. Old unit is removed. There it is. It's really weird to see that thing not installed and running. I thought this was a regular shovel, man. It's a jack. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, there it is. The old carrier is now removed. The old pad. It is odd seeing the uh, downstairs unit sitting there alone. Where's the dirt? Ball. Here is the old evaporator Blue coil. Ball. Blue ball. That's not the old carrier. And well, look at that. We were going to do a new disconnect, but it was a piece of crap, so we just put in the new insides from the new disconnect and left the old shell and put the new cover. Okay, we packed down the ground and we're ready for the new unit. Alright. There we are. There it is. Ooh, there it is. And there's a new good one. Did you get that other one off? Nice. It's got the blade I was expecting it to have. Let me get over here. I the other side of the unit. Back. Data. Ooh, is that the new data sheet? Ooh, it's from 2019. <laughs> 
You're a beast, dude. That's awesome, dude. You're a beast. Yeah. That thing's huge compared to the downstairs unit. Shut them on top. I need this. I'm gonna take them, they'll get knocked off. Right. Save that. It does smell good. All right, so first things first, man. You gotta take the cores out. Take it off. The run capacitor. Hey. Hey, we need to shorten this up right there. Not right there, that's straight. Here's the panel removed. That guide. Dude, perfect cut, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's the uh, new vibrator. Those pump fingers. I've had that for 45 years. I've had the same one. This is Robinair. Seven is good. Seven CFN. It's a two stage. Look at that green one, Jake. What you tightening up? I'm opening up the valves. Take your gauges off before you start them because when you have them on there when you open them up, the oil from the compressor, the initial surge, the oil goes into your hoses. No. And then when you got to take them off, man, the oil sprays all over every place. So I always take them off, start it up, let that oil get circulated, and then check it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's
77 looks at 72. Okay. And yeah, that's it. You guys enjoy, and I hope you guys enjoy.